From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Hannah Scholl. I don't really get into all those phones, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I still have, I think, an 11. I, an 11. Mean. I had a 6 until like 6 months yeah, ago. Yeah, once so. you, I mean, once it, it, as long as it can keep its battery, I feel like that's the worst part. Once it starts like dying in the middle of the day, then you're like, okay, now I need a new phone. Just but. as long as I can download the News 9 weather app. Yeah, the News we 9 weather app. Thing. News <laughs> 9 news app. Oh, yeah, yeah, we love that. Uh, this is our current view from space. If you want to use the News 9 weather app to track the cold front this weekend, that would be use for it but right now we don't have anything really to worry about we have lots of clear skies and we're gonna have lots of sunshine through the day today you see all that cloud cover the, those are the outer bands of hurricane k now a category one hurricane off the coast of mexico over the baja peninsula currently uh, we're not going to be seeing any of that tropical moisture here in oklahoma we're actually staying fairly dry and even once the cold front moves through, we do still have low rain chances. So it's not going to be a big time rain event for us. It's just going to drop our temperatures. And I think we'll have some pretty gusty winds coming from the north on Sunday. So 80 degrees is going to be our high temperature by Sunday. However, our cooler temperatures, they're only lasting for a couple days. It is going to be a short lived front. There's the moon on our El Reno cam, part of our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network, clear skies and 68 degrees. Our current temperature in Oklahoma City. It is feeling very comfortable outside. Some people are already in the middle of 50s and we're going to continue to cool off until the sun rises. So we could see temperatures in the lower 50s by the time we hit right before sunrise. 56 currently in El Reno. We got lower 60s in the panhandle. Most people now in the middle 60s and then a couple 70s down along the Red River, Ardmore, Durant, both above that 70 degree mark. Our winds today are going to be from the east and northeast. We're gradually shifting to be back from the south today. Uh, your winds are going to be around 7 to 14 miles per hour. We're going to be a touch cooler than we were yesterday. 89 degrees, our high temperature in Oklahoma City, 92 in Clinton, 91 for Hobart and Altus. The hottest temperatures again in the panhandle. I think that's going to continue to be the trend with all of the record breaking heat out west. The further west you go in Oklahoma, we're going to stay hot as well. And then lows tonight, we're going to be right around average for this time of year. 64 degrees are low temperature it's going to be another very comfortable morning tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon the 90s do return 91 degrees are high in oklahoma city stillwater 95 in alva and enid and upper 90s for the panhandle i'm telling you the heat in the panhandle is going to be that's going to be the place with the temperatures that are most above average here in the next nine days. So we do have the chance for rain with the cold front. It's not incredibly high for Oklahoma City, but the people who will most likely see rain, definitely the panhandle. 60% chance for Guyman, Woodward, Alva, and Clinton, and a 40% chance once you get to Enid. So it weakens as it continues on its way east and south. And uh, as it continues down, Across Oklahoma, again, you start to see your rain chances taper off. So a 20% chance from Miami down to Oklahoma City, down to Lawton. Your highest chances at that point, Sunday morning, are going to be in Clinton, Hobart, and Altus, so the west side of the state. Here's your nine-day forecast. We stick with the 90s through Saturday, so that means all the football games that happen on Saturday, we're going to be in the 90s at least for kickoff, and then we'll cool off once the sun goes down. Much cooler for Sunday. Day, upper 80s or uh, upper 70s and lower 80s through the state and then Monday we stick with the 80s but look at that the heat comes back and it actually builds to be quite warm 95 degrees by Thursday which is the day the state fair starts and then 95 degrees for Friday as well so not looking like fall storm